It's the OCG Fam Show, and we're talking about nitrogen, the element. You knew that. Hey there, Bob from, hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome, just, I'm all right. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. Let me know how you're hanging in there with this whole thing. So um, yesterday we were talking about, um, someone had asked the question, is Pegasus Potion a facilitator for bat guano? Not the bat guano like this, but bat guano like bat guano from the bat cave. Um, does it facilitate it? And Scott and Frank were there saying, you know, no, um, maybe, but the nitrogen in bat guano is very available. It's one of those things we use, they use back in the day that kind of got replaced with more synthetic type nutrients. It's a heavy nitrogen feeder to feed heavy nitrogen, which some people feel is the way to go, but Scott and Frank really don't. And they got a little deeper into that in this next clip I'm gonna show you. And I think you'll find it interesting. And I think it informs a larger discussion we can have about uh, this whole thing. Anyway, watch this, I'll talk to you after. So, but this is, it's its a very available nitrogen that just feeds the plant straight up. Is, is it similar to some salt-based nutrients? Is, is that Yeah, because there's a lot of nitrogen. Right. And, I mm -hmm. mean, nitrogen's soluble. Yeah. Right, ammonia and nitrates is yeah. ammonia and nitrates. Doesn't matter if it comes from urea, urine, mm -hmm. or, yeah. so, or from the air. And he's talking about using this to straight up feed the plant, not to flavor the plant with a little bit like something yeah, like you is, might do with uh, with Morpheus or something like that, Mega Morpheus. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, he's he's talking about adding that to make sure it makes those guanos more available to the plant. But boy, most of them are just going to be already so available to the plant. So okay. Yeah, you, know, you can never go I mean, wrong with feather meal, though. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, yeah. So you're, you're not gonna hurt it. It's not going <laughs> to hurt anything, but I but wouldn't use it no. as a specific facilitator for. for it has a lot I mean, of humic acid in and it. pulvic will do the same thing, sure. if not better. Yeah. Yeah. Why feather meal has shown over the years to out yield any other type of an organic nitrogen source is what type of amino acid or something is in it that yeah, no. does it. <laughs> you know, over fish, over blood, over. Any just other a gentle type of form of nitrogen, yeah. so the plant doesn't have to over. I mean, I feel like people just use nitrogen way too freely, sure. and you get thin cells, you get elongation, Succulent growth, yeah, hollow stems. You know, a lot of water. Powdery water is not the best to have brought up in your. If you puke on me, I will disown you. <laughs> go, go on, go lay down. Fertilizer, puke. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what do you think of that? Did you find that interesting, informative, thought-provoking? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk a little more about this. And also, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking at what we're going to be doing going forward. So let me know what you're thinking about that. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. Ooh, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.